<laughs> and and for a while it can't even move it. Why? Because the blood is stopped. You know, because you pinched it. And the life is in the blood. Within minutes, I don't even know how long it takes. Within minutes, you, your body is dysfunctioning. You stop the blood. It's it's over. Not too long, and it's been done. That's why you wake up because your whole body reacts and wait a minute, something is wrong. What's wrong? Blood quit coming. So the body goes, wake up. And for a while, it can't even function because it's like tingling, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Gotta not move because it starts to move. Yeah, it hurts. Like, yeah. You know, why is this all this tingling that the blood is restoring, restoring, right? Restoring. And that's exactly what religion wants to do. Pinch. Stop the flow. Disconnect. Make you not connected to the force, to the flow of God's Holy mm -hmm. Ghost. Right? Then the other way it can stop is from giving it away. One is, one way is coming in. If he stops the income, he'll get you dead. It, you know, his <coughs> life is in him. He drink my blood, eat my flesh. So Jesus says, partake of me, constantly partake, 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 partake of who else. And the nature is not just stationary. It's a it's a living, flowing nature. Constantly flows, and wants to flow out. Out of your basic flow of rivers. So what's happening? Out of your basic flow of rivers of love. God's love wants to keep flowing. As long as it's flowing, as long as it's giving, you get it. Mm -hmm. You get it when you give it. Yeah. Kind of like an offering. How do you know you're generous? Because you give. Give an offering, that's how you know. Through giving, you're already sure of who you are. You are generous. Because mm -hmm. you're not stingy, you're not tight. You give it. Same with giving love, giving joy, giving witness, giving everything, everything that you give of God, every, uh, allowing how God to give through you makes you alive, and you get it. What makes me believe this, is first I believe that, but then when and I talk about it all the time, I give it to her, she gives it to me, and we just kind of interact, and it keeps alive between us, gets stronger, to put ten times. Yeah. Then I come talk to you. The more I talk, the more I get it. The more I give it, the more I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it more and more, every time. It's true, but it gets even truer. It's like, yeah, cool, you know. And the more you give it, I guarantee you, the more you're gonna get it. So don't wait to get the whole thing, like full measure and everything, and to, oh, okay, I can't wait. No, whatever you believe that is true, mm. give it to your friend, share it. Yay. Share it with your friend, and you know what? It'll get stronger. Uh -huh. You can get it, get it, you know. Wow, that's true. So, especially someone who believes, you know, when you give it to someone who believes, Soil, good soil, boom, sow it in, harvest comes back to you. And, and encouragement, you know, comes back to you. I mean, test it with, with the simplest things, like a smile. Smile. You know, or you could go, you know. So either way, so you, you just go for a frown fast for a week. <laughs> no frowning. So, you know, just smile. Smile and see what will happen. You know what? You're going to get more smiles back at you than you can... You, you're gonna love because you, you're altering. You're sowing and you're reaping. Mm -hmm. yes. Sowing, reaping. Yes. And the more you, you sow the truth, the more you're gonna get the truth. Truth gonna get back to you. Follow Jesus, you know. And what happens after you? Goodness follows you. You follow Jesus, and goodness and mercy and great oh, every day, attacking you, goes after you. You know. You follow Him. And you, and all goodness flows after you. It's just that, uh, it's like this. You want goodness? Follow him, and goodness will never end up following you. <laughs> you want blessing? Follow the blessing, and blessings will all follow you. Oh, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I make it kind of easy, but it's really not that is easy or hard, it's just simply just how it works. So, verse 12 says, And thus you were circumcised when you were buried with him in baptism in which you also raised with him to a new life, through your faith in the working of God, as displayed when he raised him from the dead. So the whole thing is in a display. You know, let me read it from different translations. So that's chapter Colossians 2 verse 12 now. And I'll finish with that. My time is almost over for this week. The next week we have another class of soul Yay. with me. So, Colossians 2, um, verse 12.
verse uh, 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 I'll start 11 and I'll go to 12 Living Bible, check this out When you came to Christ He said you're free from your evil desires Yay, Christianity means freedom from evil desires Don't buy anything else because he paid for it <laughs> hey. Freedom from evil desires Not only by bodily operation circumcision But by spiritual operation The baptism of your soul For in baptism you see how your old evil nature died with him. Huh. Look at this. Feast your eyes. You have to see how your old evil nature died with him. And buried. They were buried with him. Then you came out of the death with him, out of the grave, new, uh, into a new life because you trusted the word, the mighty God who raised Jesus from the dead. See what happens when you trust? Oh. <laughs> when you trust the, the word of God, all kinds of things start to happen. Something happens when you believe. Do, 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 you know, one of the electronic one when it's, Something happens when you believe. Amazing things happen when you believe. All of a sudden, all that that he did comes to life. And you find yourself free from evil desires. And you find yourself desiring cool stuff, good things. God, Holy Ghost, all kinds of good stuff. You find yourself desiring it, enjoying it, and taking pleasure in love, in holy love, yeah. in pure, in true, taking pleasure. Yeah. It's more pleasurable, holiness is more pleasurable than sin. Hmm. If it's not, then God is, <laughs> something is wrong with God. Like, he thinks, well, yeah, okay, but you know, I like the devil's thing better. I mean, it, that cannot be true. You come to realize, devil is like a loser, <laughs> loser, you know, and whatever, and then, <laughs> and God is cool, <laughs> that rocks, you know, and so he started realizing what's really true. Oh my God, that's good. Yep, what's really true, and here's the thing, here's the thing, oh, okay, Here, here's, here's, here's what I want to point out. Um, in several translations, but let's take let's take uh, the NIV, and then I'll take New Living Translation. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, <coughs> God made you alive. Let's read it again. When we were dead, it's the past tense. It's not dead anymore. When we were dead, because. In a sense, in, in the uncircumcision of our sinful nature, in a state, in a former state, prior to the circumcision of our sinful nature. Mm. Okay, let's read it in, 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 in New Living Translation. I mean, this is so cool. So there, it's like Paul goes to that all the time, before and after. He goes to that. We were this, but now we're this. In Romans. Six to seven, three times he says what you were and now what you're, you, you're not anymore and what you are now. You know, prior. You know, we were slaves of sin, but now we're less slaves of righteousness. Then we were, but now we are. Yeah. So he goes through that past tense, the BC, AD kind of thing. Um, look at this in Colossians. Look how this guy says. Um, let's, let's start at 11. 2.11. So when you when you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not physical procedure. It was a spiritual procedure, the cutting away of your sinful nature. Mm. We need a CSI <laughs> Jerusalem series <laughs> to show what happened. <laughs> Go to the scene of the crime and see what the cross did. <laughs> you know, pick little samples of little evidence. You know. Oh, what that got removed from me. Ah, you know, <laughs> so the spiritual, the spiritual, the spiritual procedure, the cross is a procedure somehow to you. The cutting away of your sinful nature for you are buried with Christ when you're baptized and with him you were raised to new life because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised you from the dead. Verse 13, when you were dead because of your since and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Mm. Not yet cut away. 
but now it's get away. Mm. 